Jason is my baby boy. I have five children, and after three of them have flown the coop, my husband wanted me to have another child. I didn't want to have any more. Jason is from a dream. I actually had a dream that Jesus was talking to me and telling me, don't worry, everything's going to be fine. He's going to be your lifesaver. Every time that uh, I needed something, he was there for me. When his father, when his father needed us, he was there for him. I am so proud of Megan and Jason. I just wish my husband was here. So we gather this day to praise and thanks God for Jason and Megan. We also remember Megan's mom, Terry Lynn, and Jason's dad, Manuel, who provided them with much love and care during their lives. Their presence, no doubt, is felt this day as they look from above to see their daughter and son join together with much happiness and joy. I read the Bible every night and I pray every night. And I sat down and I said, Lord, all I want you to do is give him a good woman. Oh, three weeks later, he tells me, Mom, I met a girl. And then he says, I want to bring her to the house. I saw how much she cared for Jason. So that night I went into my room and I thanked the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving my son a good Christian woman. I've got three daughters and they're all pretty special. <sighs> Why'd you do this to me? <laughs> I had a surgery and part of my recovery was to walk and she'd come walk with me and she was going through some stuff and she's crying. She said, Dad, I'll never meet anybody. I said, well, don't give up. And I, uh, next week she come to, hey, Dad, I met somebody. Miss Sandoval, I just want to thank you because you helped raise the man of my dreams and the man that I love so much, even though he drives me crazy. But I want to thank you so much because you and your husband raised such a jewel. He is the most precious thing in my life. And I love him so much. And he is the man that he is because of where he came from. We love you very much. Thank you for joining our family. <laughs> We want to thank you all for coming out. Uh, before we start everything, we want to uh, share a very, some very exciting news we just found out. Megan is the new East Central ISD Elementary School Teacher of the Year. <laughs> she is a talented, loving, giving woman, and she met a wonderful man, a dreamer, someone that can help her fulfill her dreams. I'm glad that Megan found you. You know, this is Megan's first boyfriend and her first love. And I don't know about all of us, but I don't think we can all say that. It's special, it's very, very special. This is the spitting image of a wonderful, wonderful girl. And I'm so proud of you. Um, you know that mom would be proud of you. You know mama was proud of you. And she's here today. She's in the Redbirds. She's in all of what you see here. Twelve twenty-two, twenty eighteen. You didn't know me again before my mom passed away. Stuff like that changes you. Megan didn't smile, and thank you for loving her the way you do. And making her smile again. Mama would have loved you, Jason. 
I'm sorry, she would have been giving you hell up until tomorrow. So that's why I've been doing it. Um, <laughs> but deep down, she would see how you make my sister light up. I am beyond blessed to have the sisters that I have. One of the hardest things for me as a bride was planning this wedding, to not have your mother by your side. But it's just hard when your mom's not here. And I had the best mom in the world. But I'm very, very blessed, as I said, to have the sisters that I have because they've stepped up and they've become mothers to me. And I know how much we're all missing Mama. And so I got something made for y'all. This is for you, Erin. And this is for you, Lauren. And that's Mama's handwriting from one of the cards that she gave us. So it's hard to do this without her. Now she can be with us always, even more. So y'all don't have to wear them today, but I, I just want y'all to have them. Yes, baby. I love you too. I'm glad you have one too. How did you get this? I made one for her, got one made for me too. So. Aaron, you remind me so much of mom because you raised your kids the way that mom raised us. And I can only hope that one day when Jason and I, God willing, that we're blessed with children to be half the mother that you are. You're just a spitting image of, of mom. You look very nice, Daddy. Oh, thank you. You, you look handsome. Well, you don't look nice. Daddy. You look beautiful. <laughs> he looks handsome. You look so handsome, Daddy. Oh, see, it's oh, nice to have daughters. <laughs> no, Daddy. Oh, you know we wouldn't lie. Uh, it's definitely better than your Santa suit. <laughs> He's going to be Santa tonight. He's going to be Santa. Yeah. Our family is addicted to Christmas. It's almost ridiculous. <clears throat> Jason, today marks the beginning of our always and oh, forever. You're my everything. Today I'm having my dream wedding. It's a dream because you are all that I have ever wanted and all that I have ever needed. You brought me back to love. You remind me to love myself every day. I want you to know that I love you, Jason Sandoval. <clears throat> I love your smile. I love the way that you can look at me and know exactly what is on my mind. I love that you have faith in us and desire for our relationship to always grow. Most of all, I love that you love me. I trust that God brought us together because it is all part of his unique plan. I will forever be grateful that he made you especially for me, and I love you. You are my best friend, my heart, my red bird, the one who my very soul loves. Today is our day, my love. Take it all in. This is the moment we both have waited for our entire life. I love you today, tomorrow, and always. I will see you at the altar when we take our first steps to our forever. God has given me the greatest gift, and that is you. Thank you for loving me. I love you. Love your make. My love. I can't believe today has finally come. I get to marry my best friend and the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. I've never been so scared and happy all at the same time, but I know you are the one God put on this earth for me to find. I can't wait to see you walk down that aisle and look into your beautiful brown eyes. I love how you can put a smile on my face without even trying and drive me crazy all at the same time. 
I have never met anyone like you in my life. Thank you for loving me the way you do. I am extremely lucky man to be able to start a family and grow old with you. I'm so excited and can't wait for the next chapter in our life. I hope I can give you the little red-headed babies you want so bad, but no matter what, we will have the time of our lives making memories. Thank you, Megan Lynn Frazier, soon to be the new Mrs. Megan Sandoval. Thank you so much for saying yes and making me the happiest man alive. I'll see you soon, my love. I love you to the moon and back. Yours always, Jason. Good afternoon and welcome to Holy Redeemer Catholic Church as we gather this day to celebrate God's great gift of love, the love that enables you this day, Jason and Megan, to vow and to commit yourselves, your lives to one another for the rest of your lives. It's a day of joy and celebration as we witness the presence of the Lord in you and in your love for each other. And so we begin. Megan and Jason, oh my gosh. I was wondering what gospel passage you were going to pick for today. You know, you learn more about the couple doing marriage prep than any other time. But what was always very interesting is, in our time together, Jason was always kind of, yeah, you know, it's kind of straightforward, and Megan would hear what he'd have to say, and she'd say, well, let me explain that to you. <laughs> Let me explain that. I need to tell you why he said that. It's like, just accept it. Just take it and go with it. You don't have to explain everything away. It's okay if you don't agree. And I think that was the wonderful thing that I experienced in the two of you as we sat together and we talked. You two are very different people. And so you really complement each other in that way. Because in the end, in the end, what both of you were saying is, I ain't going anywhere. I'm in this for the long haul. I'm with you. Even if some of those things about him drive you crazy. <laughs> right? Yes. Right. And that's why you're here in this place today. Because you know the Lord has to be at the center of your lives and of your relationship. Since it is your intention to enter into the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Jason, take you, Megan. I, Jason, take you, Megan, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you, to honor you, in the days of my life. I, Megan, take you, Jason. I, Megan, take you, Jason, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. Megan, receive this ring. Megan, receive this ring, the sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jason, receive this ring. Jason, receive this ring. It's a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's an honor for me to introduce you for the first time, Mr and Mrs. Jason Sandoval.
songs. They didn't ask me to give a toast, but I'm going to anyways. At the very least, I'm going to give a little speech. So Megan joined our family a couple years ago. Her new name is Thea Mimi Megan, just so you all know. We met her a couple of years ago, and I have to tell you, I thank God that he put her in my uncle's life because she is exactly what he needed on this earth. And from us two, who go way back, we got 17 years under our belt. I'm telling you, my one piece of advice is all you need is love in this world. We wrote our love song, hope y'all like it. Good fashion. Special one that I own. They didn't stop right dead in the tracks. I asked her if that was just made to last. And it is as we go. It's a simple place we make our Too young is what they all say. 